did, did I tell you what I named it? You named it Dillweed. What did you name it? Monarch. See how Meadows. gorgeous this is? Really unique piece. Okay guys, I'm mixing Kissing Booth and Water Lily per your request. Uh, are you spraying? You're spraying water, right? Yeah, it's just water. It covers super well. It's completely covering. Um, it's not going to stay like this, guys. It's just the base coat. And problem is people, you need to understand that creating something that is one of kind, original, it's going to take a little bit. It's going to be a process. It's just like an art piece, okay? It doesn't just happen within an hour. It takes time. It takes a while to build up your layers. It hits that ugly face. Just no, you can't get worse from here. It's going to get better. You're going to start pulling all the colors together. You're going to start up your layers. But you walk away and you come back and you go, it looks stinking good. Wait a minute. So I just have the two colors on my palette and I am overlapping them yes. on my brush. Everybody's the same. It looks really bright and really wild. I'm afraid people that are going to scroll through on the replay are going to unsubscribe from my channel. <laughs> Please don't. Stick with us. Please hang on. Cheese cracker tray. When we have the, the parties at the house, we have the fiestas. I don't know if you know, Chip and Joanna, have you ever heard of them? Mm -hmm. Chip will not leave me alone. Um, Are y'all not that close? No, we're we're close. Um, he probably thinks he's a lot closer, you know, than we actually are. That be kind, honey. Don't I'm being nice. Be kind I mean, he's... Nice. But while you do that, I'm going to grab some copper and I'm going to start putting it on the hardware here. Blue iris and cowgirl coral based on, well, just randomly 
with my eyes closed and picked the colors. What do you think? Well, I don't like it at all. Okay. Hit that yellow with a little bit of water so now that it's set there for a minute, it'll just keep dry. And take us out with a saw. Look at that. Matt's here to answer. Actually, let's not let Matt answer. Hold yes, on. I am here to answer all of this. No, 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 no. Right, so I have some Hey Sailor in this old bottle. This is not a water girl. down Hey Sailor, which is our navy from DIY. Very watered down. All right, now I'm gonna go back to the clear and I'm gonna get this going. I want kind of a dark background, uh, but I want it very sheer. So I am encouraging this to drip just a little bit more. This is Hey Sailor in this old bottle. It's not a water grill. I'm, I'm using the brayer to create texture actually. Nice. just a little bit in this old bottle. I want it really sheer, but I kind of wanted like a sunny glow on just the just this section of it here. We're doing the color wash of Hey Sailor and the color wash of just Queen Bee. I'm trying to let it kind of dry for a second. One second, let me say this real quick. This is Queen Bee that I have Mint Chip and Monet's Garden. I'm also going to use Salty Kiss and Fancy Farm Girl. I have my angled brush, my mop brush, I have my fan, I have the assistant. And then I have the little angle, the little edge, basically. So I have those brushes. I also have the Dusty, both from Paint Pixie, the Dusty and the Little D. And I'm gonna dip my brush in the Monet's Garden <coughs> and the Mint Chip at the same time. 
brush looks like this. So over my stems with the thinner line. So I'm doing using my angle brush, which is perfect for that. Farm Girl. Now don't mind my drip. I do, I do not mind dripping. So this is watered down Fancy Farm Girl. We might even, okay, let's do it. Splash it. Splash it. Whew. I grabbed prairie gray and um, so I this is kind of a warm brown gray color so tonight I'm gonna do a little bit of that and add just a little bit of brown warmth and Okay, let me bring you in closer and then we'll we'll go. Excuse me, I'm painting here. Reminds me of like an Arizona sunset. Thank you, honey. We've never been to Arizona. I don't have my hat on. Look at my hair. Yeah, that is embarrassing. It's not. It's and so back when I was a little kid. I stared at this all day and I decided like the green was just like popping out at me and I'm not ready for it to pop. I ended up spraying another layer of Bohemian Blue all the way across everywhere. And you know what? Yesterday I did another coat of yellow. So I went back and sprayed over another coat of yellow. Um, you can see it's, it's a lot more warmth and sunny up there. And so I'm just doing a very sheer coat guys all over just like this. It's very, very watered down. We're gonna start with some taller wildflowers, which all I did was Google yellow, tall wildflowers, because I knew I wanted yellow, and I came up with some goldenrod. Start with some stems with my angled brush. And then I have my mop brush, so I can do some milkweed. Pink milkweed. I have several shades of green and acrylic. Everything here you see is DIY. Okay, so I have my angled brush. It's got pretty thin stems. So I'm using my angle brush kind of on the side of it like this.
all going to have an open mind on what goldenrod actually looks like. Okay. Bam. It's called the cheerleader. I'm going to get a uh, yellow ochre and a bright yellow. And I'm also going to get queen bee. I'm going to take those three colors. I have queen bee as my base. I'm going to start in and just kind of lay out Swamp milkweed. I printed it out. It's time to spray them again. Let me bring you a little bit closer because there's layers here that don't want to be ignored. It's 
busy. But we're going to make it even busier because we can. We are going to work on part like 1800 of this um, wardrobe. We're doing some Queen Anne's, Queen Anne's lace. Right now I am using this brush that I actually found in Paris at a hardware store. So I am tap, tap, tapping a little DIY paint tarnished pearl on just this edge to start my Queen Anne's lace. So I started some a little bit here. my mock brush you guys from the Turquoise Cyrus collection. I'm going to dot this in my bright white acrylic and you just tap the center of these Queen Anne lace. I'm going to just add in just a few little sprigs small dainty little ones that would maybe just blooming. So I'm just going to use this fan brush and I'm just going to make little lines um, to kind of connect to the stems. You, you guys can't see that on the screen, can you? Um, I'll probably just give you this later. I get my favorite brush, which is literally called the favorite. It's a filbert. All right, it's from the Turquoise Iris collection too, and I have called it the, the favorite because it's the filbert. So it's perfect for making petals, which I'm going to try this for um, the Indian paintbrush. A coral cherry picked, which is a deep purple red. I have a red called Marquee, and I have Queen Bee. Okay, I'm going to start with the darker color at the bottom, which would be cherry picked, and then I'm gonna work my way up to the brighter and then the lighter. So this filbert already has a curved bristle to it, okay? So I'm just kind of dipping this filbert into all of these colors. These are up close. I'm gonna put five more over here, kind of in a random pattern. This is that bohemian blue, guys. I'm spraying another layer of that bohemian blue that's watered down and I'm misting it so it gets even darker down here in a shadowed effect. I'm going right over those Indian paint brushes and right over this Queen Anne's lace so it's not quite as bright. You know, they're down lower, they're shorter, so there's gonna be more shadows.
Ooh, I like this one. This one's my favorite. Okay. Do not use, put, do not put paint in the water girl. I will get in trouble with paint pixie if I encourage you to do that. Use an old, old spray bottle. This is a little bit of bohemian blue. I'm gonna create one more layer of shadows. Cool. We're not. Who did you go with? I went with my friend. Which friend? Did you? Les. Lady? Yeah, I don't know. It seems odd. <sighs> yep. Let's change the subject. I am. H-A-P-P-Y. I have some cherry picked and I have my Filbert brush from the Charcoal Cyrus collection. Guys, we're gonna use some um, golden ticket tonight, our golden ticket patina. We're gonna use some turquoise wax from DIY, which is called Shipwrecked. And then we're also gonna add in some black wax. So we're drying, I'm gonna go boom, and then boom, and boom, boom. So let me just get some, some more depth in here um, at the bottom of these Indian paint brushes. This wax is from DIY. It's called Shipwrecked. You guys have seen me use it multiple times. Um, my wax brush from DIY as well. Frame out this kind of uh, art deco area right here, and then I'm gonna wipe it back. I'm just gonna go right over these details. So I'm applying a lot of pressure and then I'm gonna wipe it back. It's like a stinking rainbow up in here on this thing. It is so pretty. Got some copper. I'm gonna use the French tip. I'm gonna put a little bit on here in this water. I want it to drip. And then I'm gonna put some down inside some of these flowers. I'm just gonna do this along the top of this flower line. I'm gonna just put some copper on here and lightly.
I'm going to take my black wax and I'm going to put some shadowing around the sides and the bottom. And so they appreciate you. Thanks for the support. Oh, and I have to do a butterfly. I don't know how to do a butterfly, but I'm here for it. If, if not, I'm going to turn it into a flower and pretend you never saw it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we are going to call this, Matt, did, did I tell you what I named it? You named it Dillweed. What did you name it? Monarch Meadow. Monarch Meadow. Yes, Monarch Meadow is the name of this. Place. That's lovely. Thank I'm making a little bit of an impression on these people. What do you think? I, you're definitely making an impression I mean, on 